Okay, watch this. After all these years, I can finally do smoke rings. Hang on. Hello folks, Joey Led's dipping back here again for another Chew Review actually. I was about to say Dip Review. We're not here for Dip today. We're here for a Chew Review which is always nice. Mix things up a little bit, you know what I mean? Of course. I had to root through my desk for like 10 minutes to find my Chew List. Yes, everything I do is still on paper. I'm very old school like that. It's easier. Computers can blow up. This can't. Hopefully. So this is a Chew that's pretty damn common. It's not rare or special. But, uh, you know, some people are like, you're out of things to review. It's like, no, not really. I haven't even touched, like, half the shit out there. Uh, I just have to order them online. But this one was sent to me by Matthew Mays a little while ago. It's just been sitting sealed for a little bit, but that's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's sealed. Chew keeps for a while. <coughs> so before we go any farther, let's take a look at the presentation. Normally I hold it up. I just dropped it. I love getting comments like, and I got a comment like this once, I'm not even kidding. He's like, this is why a city boy shouldn't review tobacco. He spends five minutes on the presentation. <laughs> I quite like how it looks. It looks a bit old and rustic and rural. It's very nice. Got wagon wheels. It's a good looking pouch. And this is made by National Tobacco, maker of fine tobacco products. Leaf content, domestic, no less than 7%, foreign, no more than 93%. What's up with all this foreign tobacco? Chew pouches don't really have a date on them, so... Yeah, I can't really provide that information, but that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Still looks nice and wet, so it's not dry, luckily, even though it's been sitting for a little bit. It, uh, it smells a lot like Redman Original, which if you don't know, Redman Original, eh, I'm iffy on it. It was the first chew I ever tried, so of course I liked it then. But then I got to try and Levi and Stokers and all these other ones, and I like them better. Uh, the thing is with Red Man Original is it has a little bit of a bitter taste to it. So this smells like overall like raisins, very sweet, but we will see if it contains the bitterness. Moderately sticky, very leafy. You can tell it's just randomly cut. So pack a lip with me, pack a chew with me, or if you don't have anything, that's fine too. Cheers. <laughs> Drinking some Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. It's okay. It's actually getting a little low. I need to go get another one. So I was right in saying that uh, it's very sweet and it tastes like raisins, but uh, it does have that underlying bitterness to it, which I don't care for. There's some things I like bitter, like cranberry juice or whatever, but in terms of chew, something about that just kind of bothers me a little. But overall, the flavor is not too, too bad. Comparison, definitely Red Man Original. It tastes almost identical to it. I can't even, yeah, I can't say. It just tastes like Red Man Original. Also, a lot of people are starting to ask where I got my hat, my skull camo hat. It's actually a really cheap hat. I just got it off eBay, but they have a bunch of them. So I'm going to leave a link to the eBay listing. It's like 10 bucks, I think. And uh, down there, I'll also put all my social media. So follow me on everything. Add me on everything. I like to keep in touch with you guys outside the videos. So the texture. Uh, oh. Uh. If the lighting's fucked, I apologize. Clouds keep coming and going outside, and there's nothing I can do. It pisses me off. I'm very OCD about lighting. So the texture. Uh, it's pretty randomly cut, so it has some stems and shit in it. So it's a little bit rough. I can feel them poking into my cheek. Not too bad. But uh, yeah, a little bit rough, just because it's so randomly cut. You know, like Stokers or Levi or even like Southern Pride, they're they're soft, they're cut nice, they don't really have stems, this shit's kind of stemmy. So burn, um, I don't even know why this is on my chew list, it's very rare for me for a chew to burn. Usually no dips burn for me, no chews do. The only time it burns is if I like chew through a whole pouch in a day, then it makes the inside of the cheek a little raw. Other than that... No, not really. Although I'm still feeling them stems. Nicotine, I've gone through it a thousand times and I will go through it again for you. Uh, yeah, the, the nicotine, I mean, chew does contain nicotine, but it's very, very little. Because the thing with dip is it has salt crystals in it that slightly 
slit your lip when you do it and you absorb the nicotine into your bloodstream. With chew, it just kind of sits there. You do absorb some, but not as much. So chew might have a decent amount in it, but you don't absorb it. So I never feel a buzz. I've never heard of anyone getting a buzz from chew. I mean, maybe if you've never done any tobacco product in your life, but even then, I'm, I wouldn't imagine you'd get much of one. <laughs> Spit. <laughs> pretty dark it's in the middle it's not um not as juicy as stoker's but it's about at the red man levi kind of level where you get a decent amount of it and it's pretty dark but it doesn't have a shit ton and because of that we can imagine and assume that it's not going to last too too long i have a bad tendency to chew my chew too much because you're supposed to put it in your cheek like this yeah, that, that's fine and slightly gnaw on it i kind of chew it like gum because it's so delicious usually i just can't help it what can i say just can't help it. Stop persecuting me. For me, this will probably last like 20 minutes. For the normal person who chews correctly, it'll probably last, I don't know, 45 or so. 45 hours pushing it. Maybe 40, 45 minutes, I'd say, before it starts to go dry. Again, I chew it too much because it's so good. Chew just tastes nice to me. I think part of it's because I don't chew as much as I dip. So when I do, it's like a treat. You know what I mean? It's a treat to be savored and enjoyed, especially since it's expensive. Everywhere, no matter where you live, chew is expensive for some reason. Uh, so you got to savor it and enjoy it. So after taste, I already know what this is going to be like. Um, whoops, almost dropped my list. Fuck you! I already know what the aftertaste is going to be like. It's going to be just like Red Man, where it leaves a raisiny taste, but also that underlying bitter. Uh, whenever I take Red Man out, you know, everything else seems to fade, all the good stuff, and then it just leaves this bitter <laughs> kind of taste. It's probably going to be the same. So the aftertaste won't be the best, but it won't be... Terrible either. Number of subs. We are up to 55,688. I really appreciate it. I love you all. Keep dipping and spitting. Keep cracking and packing. And now it's time for the rating. No, it's not actually. It's time for shout outs. We have quite a few today again. Uh, and also, if you want one, ask me. But ask on my most recent video. Don't be commenting on videos from 2011 because it's very hard for me to go back and check the comments of every single video I've ever made. So if you want a shout out, leave it on this video and I'll get to you. Uh, first of all, my friend Jaden, Upstate420, he's making a weed channel. I don't know if you're into weed or not. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know what he's going to do, but feel free to go over and check him out. And then we have Brandon Toller, Mickey Boone, Dip Lives, Suck My Dip 696, Soma Jesus. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, but I've seen that you've been asking for a shout out a lot, so it'll be somewhere here. Uh, Jordan Presley, nice last name, just like Elvis. It's pretty sweet. Alexander Vaughn. Big Mexican Hillbilly Dipper, Mass Bob 1637, TXNM Silas, I think, Al Guapo, Dippler 23, Cody Hoffert, Silverus Destins, and yeah, check them all out or I'll kick it as Now it's time for the rating. That was an intentional voice crack, by the way. Uh, this stuff isn't terrible. It's not my favorite chew. It's basically Red Man Original in a different pouch. But it's okay, you know, it's all right. I don't mind it. I'm going to give it uh, a 7 out of 10. So it's all right. I would I would chew it if, if it was around. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but I would chew it if it's around. Anyways, that's been the video. Like it if you like it because it makes me happy. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.